Buford, guess what I'm having for breakfast? A nice hot bowl of oatmeal, potato chips, and root beer. <coughs> wow! Most kids have to wait till they're in college to eat so irresponsibly. Or at least until their parents have gone out of town for a week. Hold on a sec, Buford. I have another call. Hello? Hello! Shaky boy! Auntie, good for you. Uh, uh, could you please hold on a second? So, do you want to come over? Mom and Dad left Daniel in charge while they're gone. We'll have a whole weekend of video games, monster movies, and junk food. Oh, my! That doesn't sound very good for you. Auntie, good for you? Don't worry, Jakey. I'll be right there. Oh, no! Auntie, good for you is coming over. Auntie, Auntie good, good for, for you. Battle stations! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> who knows how much fun we'd be having by now. Oh, what do we have here, Jakey boy? Oh, great galloping cholesterol! They're Mom's special peanut butter double fudge butterscotch chip cookies. They're for my school's bake sale. They're for the bake sale. Oh dear, oh dear. I can't let you sell these at school. They're not good for you. But if I don't bring something to the bake sale, Principal Greedy Guts will give me a week's detention. That's not good for me either. Don't worry. I'll whip up a batch of my 100% good for you cookies for your bake sale. They'll sell like hotcakes, Squirt. Oh, wait. Did I say hotcakes? I meant cow chips. <laughs> you won't be able to give them away. You'll have to bring them back home and eat them all by yourself. Serves you right, Butterphone Fingers. It's a good thing I brought over a few necessities. <laughs> Soy protein, wheat germ, dried seaweed. And for some reason, your mother always seems to be out of fish oil. Fish oil? Fish oil? Mmm, nice and thick. An extra fishy. Now, the bean curd. Now, where did I put that beet juice concentrate? Oh, yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Uh, I think Daniel should try them first. Yeah, he's the oldest. Here goes nothing. Hey, not bad. Forget not bad. Really good. They're great. They are good. They are. Oh, I'm so glad you like them. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I need a tissue. <laughs> I don't get it. How can cookies made from fish oil and soy protein taste so good? Well, I kind of added a few things when she wasn't looking. What do you know? Looks like your big brother's smarts are finally rubbing off on you. Thanks, Jake. You saved us from a fate worse than healthy cookies. I feel kind of bad for tricking her. Maybe I should tell her. Mm. No way! She'll take them back! Besides, look how happy you made her. <sighs> you don't want to ruin it. I'll make her even happier. Quit, Quit hiding! Me. me too! No! Stop! Those are for the... Bake sale. No problem, Jakey boy. I'll just whip up another batch. <laughs> Wait, let me help. Let me help. Bertrand's mother's cupcakes, Russell's Aunt Griselda's shortbread. <laughs> I just love bake sale day. It makes being principal to a bunch of runny nosed brats worthwhile. <laughs> First my shower stall, now this! Leo! Wolf, you're stuck tighter than a nickel in my louse's money belt. It must have been that second roast turkey I had for breakfast. Don't worry, boss. Bake sale, here I go! <laughs> Leo! I'll get the tow truck. Give me a dozen. I saw them first. Give me them all. I'll pay oh. a double. What did you bring, Buford? Chocolate-covered sugar cubes. Oh! You can't go wrong if you give your customers what they want. What you got two for? Uh, cookies? Your, your mom's, mom's peanut, peanut butter, butter double, double butter butter scotch butter scotch chip? Yep. Uh, not exactly. Yoo-hoo! Janky boy! You forgot your galoshes! Freak snowstorms do happen, you know. So, have you sold any of our 100% good for you cookies? Good, good for you? you? <gasps> <gasps> They're made with fish oil, soy protein, bean curd, and all kinds of healthy things. Healthy and nutritious? Are you trying to poison me? No, they taste really good. I'll tell you what they're good for. Teaching Doodoo a lesson. <laughs> nice going, 2 four. Now you poison Quigley. These are awesome. Well, I'll take a dozen. I'll pay double. I saw them first. Give me a dozen. Oh, oh, nice nice oh, my. Usually children turn up their noses at my healthy concoctions. But everybody loves my good for you cookies. Isn't this wonderful, Jakey? Uh-huh. Wonderful. Just wonderful. I'm glad everyone liked your cookies. But, well, the reason they tasted so good is... <laughs> Great gobs of chipotle gravy! It's over! Wait! <laughs> Ah! <gasps>
my kingdom for that cookie. <laughs> cookie. Not so fast, Tubby. <laughs> By the powers vested in me as school nurse, I hereby declare you, Principal Greedy Guts, are going on. No, I can't hear you. La 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 la. A diet. No. My 100% good for you cookies are perfect for anyone on a diet. Hey, how come he ain't gagging? I thought you said that cookie was good for you. That's right, and they taste good too. Um, Auntie, I have to tell you something. I have to. Whoa! Dear lady, you are a saint, sent to me from the heavens above in my darkest hour of need. I must have more. More. But, Auntie, but, Auntie. Mm. Oh. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Auntie, good for you. Auntie, good for you. <gasps> Relax, Squirt. Everything's under control. We took care of it for you. You told her? You told her I snuck the sugar and chocolate chips and maple syrup and all the other stuff into her cookies? Of course not. This time we snuck the stuff into her cookies for you. She's delivering them to your principal right now. <laughs> the horror. The horror! Wah-ha-ha-ha! Huh? My salvation! My guiding light! My... Louse! Oh, gee, boss. I didn't know you cared. What are you doing back here? Haven't you tortured me enough by carting off every last morsel of food I had in the house? Just following Nurse Bunyan's orders. She sent over your supper. Give me that. <laughs> my salvation, my guardian angel, my door-to-door -door salesman. At long last, my angel of mercy has arrived. Ouch! You know, there's a whole lot of people on diets who go crazy for these great tasting good for you cookies. They can't have them! They're mine! I bet they'd pay a fortune for them. I make 100% good for you and taste good too cookies. Oh! Purely to help people do what's good for them. I need more! More! Go forth and bake, dear lady. Uh, oh! Maybe there's still some crumbs on the floor. <laughs> huh. Carl Fester King is back! <laughs> It's not that your cookies taste bad. It's just they don't taste good. No, that'll hurt her feelings. Our worries are over, Jakey boy. They are? Soon, Auntie Good For You's 100% Good For You and Taste Good Too cookies will be on every grocery store shelf across the nation. Across the nation? The nation? A big-time cookie maker named Mr. Crispy is going to mass-produce them. He's even going to put my picture on every bag. Oh, I'm sorry, Auntie. I'm sorry. Sorry? What for? My lifelong dream to make a healthier Canada is about to come true. All because of you and your bake sale. Not exactly. Auntie, I have to tell you something. I'd like to speak to Mr. Crispy, please. I'm a...
afraid we have a bit of bad news. Without all the marshmallows, chocolate chips, maple syrup, cocoa, and sugar I mixed in, Auntie Good For You's cookies taste... Ugh. Ugh. Ah, these cookies taste like fish oil. Carl Fester King? Jacob Tutu? You know Mr. Crispy? His name is Carl Fester King, and he's a stinker, Auntie. A really big stinker. She's your aunt? Huh. Oh, it's no wonder you duped me with these foul-tasting ingredients. Marshmallows, chocolate chips, maple syrup, schmankly. Where did you get this? Well, it pains me to say it, but thanks, Tutu. Looks like we're back in business, eh, Schmengli? <laughs> Don't just stand there nodding like a bobblehead doll. Stock up on these ingredients and load them into the mixing control system. But they won't be good for you. So, by the time anyone catches on, I'll have made a bundle. And that is very good for me. <laughs> You'll never get away with this. Let's go, Jakey. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> <laughs> what really burns my vitamin B is that greedy Fester King selling cookies with my face on the bag that are not good for anyone. If only I hadn't signed that contract. <laughs> Excuse me, I need another tissue. I still say he won't get away with it. Because we won't let him. She might get on us for playing our CDs too loud. And for being on the internet too much. Or picking out on pop and chips. And doing homework with the TV on. But she means well, and she's our auntie. All for one and one for all. And all for auntie good for you. OK, I'll keep the motor running. We're in. Okay, everyone know what to do? I'll patch you into the security cameras. I'll find the mixing control room. I'll create a diversion. Okay, modem connected. I'm hacking into the video feed. Jake, the mixing control room has a yellow door. I see it, I see it. <laughs> the orders are already rolling in. Schmengli! Stop wandering around scratching yourself. Get the production line rolling, you good for nothing too far. Soon, my pockets will be filled with cold, hard cash. Okay, first you have to delete the ingredients list. Good. Now re enter Andy Good for You's original recipe. Let's see fish oil, bean curds, soy protein. Hurry, Jake. You've got a geek in a lab coat coming your way. What else? What else? What a sweet little scam. I think I'll go watch the money rolling off the assembly line. There was one last thing, but what was it? What was it? I'll have to taste it. Jake, another visitor. This one looks like a snake in a cheap suit. It's beet juice! Schmangly! I told you to stop moving off and start production! Where's the pipsqueak? He's trapped! I'm warning you, Schmangly, any more slacking off and you'll be out the door so fast it'll make your little empty head spin! <gasps> nice moves, Pipsqueak! 
Bungly! Stop daydreaming! Uh, of all the bungling minions I have ever had the displeasure to be associated with, you, sir, are the bunglingest. Come on, come on, come on! What are you waiting for, you untalkative of ninny? I don't know how you did it, but every single cookie right across the nation tastes like fish oil. I am being buried alive under cancelled orders. I'm ruined. I can't. <laughs> well, that's good news for me and good riddance to you, Mr. King. Oh, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. Thank you all. Having such wonderful, caring nieces and nephews is very, very good for me. <coughs> now, if I could just get rid of this blankety blank hay fever. Hay fever? <gasps> I feel like celebrating. Who wants a cookie? <laughs> Mom's special peanut butter double fudge butterscotch chip cookies? Oh, I know they're loaded with things that aren't that good for you, but just one can't be all that bad, can it? Mm. Ooh, these are good. I mean bad. I mean, hmm. Let's have two. Cookie, cookie. Right now, let's hustle. Hop, hop, hop. Auntie Goodfew means well, Buford. She really does want to make Canada a healthier place. It's sure nice of her to want to help Principal Greedy Guts with his diet. That's almost like helping an entire country. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up, Mr. Greedy Guts. Double time. Hop, 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 hop. Uh, uh, oh, good. You know, once Auntie decided to leave out the fish oil, her 100% good for you cookies aren't so bad after all. Especially if you use them to make a chocolate covered sugar cube sandwich. <laughs> <laughs>